and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Spirit of fortitude, fill our hearts with strength. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Every now and again in the Church's calendar, we keep the feast day of a king, or of a temporal ruler, who was at the same time a saint. A saint not just in his own personal life, but a saint as it were in his politics and in his public life. That's what makes it to be his great glory. Today is the feast day of one such glorious Holy Roman Emperor, Henry, who lived in the Middle Ages, who had a virginal marriage with his wife of Cunegunda, and they together promoted piety, the reform of the church, exactly about a thousand years ago, the founding of dioceses and monasteries, and in every sense he consulted not just his own interests, but the interests of the church, the interests of Christ, the interests of soul. It's interesting to note that in the list of today's saints, we not only honor a great ruler of Germany, but we also honor the uh, first Christian ruler of Russia, patron saint of Ukraine as well, Saint Vladimir. So saint Vladimir who famously sent representatives uh, throughout um, the world uh, to study the different religions, and he received the grace to convert to the Eastern Rite of Christianity, and he did so with, with, with very great enthusiasm, and most of his nobles followed him, and then later on, Russia became um, uh, a most Catholic nation. It wasn't until the time of the Mongol invasion that Russia was separated from the Catholic Church and fell into schism, and then, of course, later on, heresy. Today, saints give us a good, um, uh, a good prayer intention to pray for Germany, to pray for rulers, to pray for Russia, to pray for Ukraine. Today is as well the feast day of Bishop Sanborn, patron saint, St. Donald. And the only thing we know about this Scottish saint was that he was a devout man who raised uh, nine daughters by himself, and these nine daughters, all of them entered the same convent after his death. Finally, today is the feast day of a blessed who was uh, beatified by Pope Pius XII, um, a woman who, as it were, holds her own with all of these men. She, too, was distinguished by her incredible spirit of bravery or of fortitude. As a young lady, she helped the priests who said secret masses, masses that were true masses, not said in union with the revolutionary government of France, but which were loyal to the true Catholic Church. Um, masses had to be said in barns or in attics during the night, during the time of the French Revolution. Her name is uh, the Blessed Anne-Marie Jabouet. Later on, she became herself the foundress of a religious order, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny. She was for a while was in Switzerland after the Revolution under the spiritual direction of a Trappist monk who later on would himself bring the Cistercian order to the United States of America. But that was not her vocation either, to be an enclosed religious. She ended up founding a missionary group which educated and taught children not only in France, but particularly in Africa. She had a vision to that effect. In the carrying out of her work, more than once she ran the fall both of civil authorities and of church authorities, as well as of the powerful who were interested in maintaining the institution of slavery. Once she was put under an ecclesiastical ban called an interdict for two years, and she was not allowed to receive the sacraments. But she had to go on a long voyage from the African missions back home to France, and she was refused the sacraments. And she said to the priest, all right, but you know, if anything happens to me, it will be on your conscience. She was a woman who was very careful in all things to do what was right, what was pleasing to God, and according to church law, whether or not some particular man approved of it made very little difference to her. What a beautiful bouquet of saints we have today. But they all have this in common, I think, that they're all conscious that they received the gift of fortitude at their confirmation, and they were conscious, conscious uh, unlike so many Christians today, to correspond with the grace of fortitude, whether high affairs of the state or in the raising of a family or in the conducting of a religious order and mission, these saints needed and these saints used the Holy Ghost gift 
of fortitude, whereby we overcome all obstacles in order to reach our spiritual goal. Let us ask God the Holy Ghost, who has given us as much grace as they in that essential sacrament of confirmation to be faithful ourselves and to persevere to the very end. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.